Schönen Dank. Endstation raus. Stiefel ausziehen. Take off your boots. Now look here, my good man. We've come a long way. We've had a rough journey. I think what we'd all like is a wash. Here is Stiefel. ST Dresden verbinden. This place smells. Damn. Extremely overcrowded. Sir Arbuckle? Sir. This isn't suitable at all. No, sir. We shall remove ourselves. Yes, sir. Three cells. They tried to stage a breakout. So I have to bring back my prisoners in order to accommodate yours. Yes, Herr Commandant. It's out of the question. Well, my orders are quite clear. The town jail is, to all intents and purposes, part of this prison. It was allocated to us by headquarters Dresden. Commandant, these men are British commanders. I don't care who they are or where they go. They're not on my strength. They're not entitled to my rations. 
and I'm not wasting what small resources I have looking after them. Now contact your headquarters and arrange to have them removed. Or oh, my headquarters are in Berlin. I believe the telephone still stretches that far. Very well. I think that you will find on this occasion that you will be overruled. What happened? I don't know. I thought you got 30 days. They just let me go. Damn dog. What's that? It's pretty expensive, sir. See, it's uh, Anderson's Aberdeen. It looks like the sort of brogue worn by Highland officers in the kilt. Well, what about this one? That, I don't know. I've never seen one of those before. It's got the War Department marking on in the arrow, though. Where'd you get hold of it? In the office. I managed to pinch them as we filed out. Two pairs of those, a pair of that one. You managed to glimpse anybody? I couldn't see anyone at all. Oh, hello, Vasey. Thanks yeah. for coming. Are well, you one of the last into the bag? What's this? Is this something new? The new commander book, sir. Standard issue. I said that there were to be no records. But this is just routine. Those are my orders. Yes, Hauptstumpfjohn. I am returning to Dresden for further instructions. In the meantime, I repeat, no one is to be told that these men are here. You will not discuss them with anyone, not even with your comrades. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Trouble. Well, then offer him 20. Tell him the information's no good to us. But it is. Isn't it? Yes, but it's important that he should think that it isn't. So there really are three commanders down there? Yes, sir. Has anybody seen this apart no, from you? Captain Brent, sir, he made a deal for it. All right, give it to yourselves. I'd like to tell the rest of the escape committee, sir. No. I suppose they'll take them out and shoot them, just like the last lot. There's no evidence whatsoever that the last lot were shot. I understood that Hitler ordered all commandos to be shot. Sir. So, the last lot were gone before we found out they were commandos. There was nothing we could do, but this time... This time what? Well, surely we can do something. What would you suggest? That we stage a demonstration? That would no doubt cause quite a lot of bloodshed. I don't think it would do those chaps down there very much good, do you? Yes, sir. I think you mean no, sir. No, sir. I think it's going on. This morning we discussed the forthcoming visit of the protecting powers. In your case, the Swiss government. Before that, Commandant, there is something I would like to discuss. Yes? Our rations are being depleted. I don't understand, Colonel. Your orderlies inform us that three British rations are being taken daily to the town jail. Our orderlies usually report to me, Colonel. 
In that case, Commandant, you are privy to the same information as I. Please come to the point. You are holding in solitary confinement in the town jail three British commanders. Their names are... Unlike you, Colonel, I do not know their names because we are not holding them. They are being held by the SD, the political wing of the SS. They are British soldiers captured in battle. As such, they are prisoners of war. You are here this morning, Colonel, to discuss the forthcoming visit of the Swiss mission. May I remind you, Commandant, that the town jail is considered for administrative purposes to be part of this prison. That means that you are responsible for those men's welfare, as I am. I would be failing my duty if I did not bring that matter to your attention. Very well, Colonel. You have now brought it to my attention. May we please see to the matter in hand. Commandant, I ask that those men be brought up here to this castle and be given their rights under the Geneva Convention. Section 3, which applies to all men captured in uniform. You must understand my position. These men are in transit. They are here for a very short while. Now, even if it were possible on humanitarian grounds to bring them up to the castle, I would be overruled by another authority. Now, that is the situation. I regret it, but there's nothing I can do about it. Now, will you please take a seat, Colonel, so that we can get on with the matter in hand? Yes, of course. Then it would be possible. Good. You almost can't. Thank you so much. Yes? I'll hit. Come. Excuse me, sir. I was wondering if I might have a word with you. Of course. Thank you, sir. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Well? I have been giving some thought to this matter of the commander, sir. I assume that Colonel Preston will continue to be troublesome. Undoubtedly, he will bring it up at the visit of the protecting power next week. If they were to become involved, the situation might prove embarrassing, sir. Go on. It occurs to me that I might be able to help if I were to make a telephone call to the right quarters, you understand? Possibly I could arrange for the transfer of the commandos here on a temporary basis, if that is your wish, sir. Very well. If you succeed, please let me know and I will inform uh, Colonel Preston. block rooms eight and nine. Yes, sir, Mayor. Oh, and you can dispense with the usual processing. It will not be necessary. Yes, sir, Mayor. As regards security, I thought I'd double the guard. The corridor is that not... That will not be necessary either. See that they are made comfortable. Come in. They're here, sir. Where? Prominenti block. You sure? Yes, sir. Certain. What about guards? Well, nothing special, just Wehrmacht, but that place is hard enough to get out of as it is. Well, how soon can you get in there? Sir, me? Yes, you and the escape committee. I would have thought that was right up your street, breaking and entering. They've got to be debriefed. Come in. Colonel Preston. Compliments of the Commandant. Thank you, Hartman. You're right, they are there. 
Commandant's telling me, sir. Now, why the hell has he changed his mind? The Swiss visit? Maybe. I wouldn't give much for their chances once their visit is over. We have to try and find some way of getting them out of this. In seven days. Well, if you don't, you'll have a riot on your hands. I mean, the chaps aren't going to sit the still. The chaps will do as they are told. Look, Simon, things are going very badly in here. Morale is low. We're neither winning this war, neither are we losing it. Which means the outlook is very depressing. And what is worse, it's unutterably frustrating. You know as well as I do, there are men in here going slowly mad. Sometimes I think I'm one of them. Now, you introduce commanders into this. We all know that Hitler wants them shot. Well, someone might find that a very good reason for getting killed. Kill them, kill us all. It has a certain balmy attraction about it, doesn't it? Well, none of my officers are going to get killed in some futile gesture, because if the Germans want to kill those men, they are going to kill them, and there's nothing that we can do about it. So just you get in there, debrief them, and report back to me. Yes, sir. From the Commandant Goldich to General Schetzel, you know the formalities. Uh -huh. Subject, British commandos. Herr General, I beg to report that on the 21st of this month, three British commandos, particulars of whom are attached, were accommodated in Kolditz town jail under the direction of the State Security Police Berlin and with a covering note from number one district HQ Berlin. This fact came to the notice of the senior British officer at this camp and he has prevailed upon me to find more suitable accommodation for these men at the castle itself. This was done with the help of my second in command, Major Mohn. Paragraph. The presence of these commandos in Kolditz constitutes a security risk and an embarrassment. <clears throat> Paragraph. Hauptsturmführer Brown of the State Security Police, who was in charge of the escort party, has explained to me that his orders were approved by Army HQ Berlin. But I have now ascertained on the personal examination of the orders that they are countersigned by the political authority only. Paragraph. I would be glad of clarification in this matter. Are the commandos ultimately a Wehrmacht responsibility? If so, why are they not equipped with documents relating to prisoners of war? Paragraph. Finally, as you can see from the attached copies, the transit documents for these men show no ultimate destination. Addressed to General Schetzel and market personnel. I shall only want one copy. See, this is dated, sealed, and placed in my safe. Pas cadencé et en avant. Halt! Demi-tour, droite. What we do, Sergeant? Bah, ça va. Ramassez cet équipement. No, no, l'autre. L'autre côté. Là. Et regarde. Et voilà. L'autre quand même, monsieur Brent. Là. Et voilà. Toc. Your shoe, Major, will be returned to you in due course. I don't want it in due course. I want it now. Sergeant R. Buckle and I are hopping about a couple of flaming flamingos. I'm sorry they have been mislaid. You mean stolen? Not by any of my men, but it is possible. By whom, then? Most likely an Englishman. It is highly unlikely that one Englishman is going to steal another Englishman's shoes. And if he did, he would most certainly steal the pair. He may be dishonest, but he's not daft. The incident has been reported to the Commandant. That doesn't close the matter. I want a full investigation of why it was taken, where it was taken, and who was responsible for taking it. All I can repeat is that the Commandant is aware of the matter. Excuse me, 
me, sir. Are you Major Trumpington? Yes. Who the devil are you? Oh, Flight Lieutenant Carter, sir. Have you got any means of identification? So you're a prisoner in the prominent block of Colditz Castle. I've been sent up here to see if you're all right. I'm far from all right. Some blighter has stolen my brogue. Yes, well, we have it. Everything all right? Yeah. Good. I want your story and we haven't got much time. I've got a name and number, and that's all. No, I'm sorry, Sergeant. You're wasting your time, mate. Look, the SBO got you out of that hellhole down the road, and we'll get you out of here if you give us the chance. Where's the Major? He's just along the corridor. Can I get to see him? Not, I hope. We're risking our necks as it is. We can't talk, can we, Godbolt? Look, the regulations say name, rank, and number. And that's all. It's all very well, old boy, but... First you steal my shoe, and then you tell me you're an officer in the Royal Air Force. I mean, you don't look like one. You're dressed up like some sort of froggy, and your fingernails are filthy. Yes, sir. Well, the senior British officer usually does the debriefings himself. But in your case, the, the matter is urgent. You've only been transferred to this castle for a short while. If we're to be in a position to help you, we have to know who you are. Once we have determined who you are, we can report your presence here to the Swiss authorities. We can also send any message to London that you might want. How can you do that? I'm sorry, sir. I can't tell you that. Well, I'm sorry, but if the senior British officer wants to see me, he can come here in person. Oh, damn it. I suppose that'd be expected. They're about to be cagey. Well, the Major's one of those bung-ho types the war seems to have brought out of mothballs. He overdoes it a bit. You think he's a fake? No, sir. He's a phony, all right, but I don't think Trumpington's a fake. Well, we're going to have to have another go at him, aren't we? Yes, sir. You, you don't mean Jumbo Trumpington. All we know is the name's Trumpington. Well, I knew a fellow called Trumpington once. Where? Purbright. It lasted about six weeks before the guards threw him out. Well, this chap's a major. He's in a Highland regiment. And he's attached to the commandos. That doesn't sound too much like Jumbo. He was so awful he couldn't be attached to anyone. Well, that's him. All right, Tim. If you think you know him, you better have a go at him. And try and impress on him we're just doing all we can to help, okay? When's the next opportunity? Tonight. I'll tell you what worries me. What worries you? You know that little oblong bit in the pay book where it says advise next of kin? Yeah, what about it? Well, it deleted my wife's name and wrote in Mabel Lucy Atwell. Who's she? Well, for one thing, she's not my wife. Oh. Is that what worries you? Yeah, bothers me a lot, that. Well, whose wife is she, then? Label of me. I don't think, Godbolt, you quite understand. Tell me, what happens to your pay when you're a prisoner of war? They keep it for you. For how many years? You're taking a long-term view, aren't you, son? We could be dead tomorrow. Never. Have you got it? Well, which one is it? Oh, Lord, this is going to take all night. No, you won't. Come on. You'll be all right, mate.
Jumbo. Who's that? Me. Downey. Tim Downey. Downey? Hello, old man. Come to have a little chat. You're there. Uh, no, I've got Dick Player with me. Navy. Oh. Here. Won't you a Todd? Now, oh, that is very considerate of you. Cheers. I mean, this is so. Yeah? Well, it's very enterprising. Where will they you? Belgian border. How about you? Somewhere near Boulogne. Um, they landed us in the wrong place, we didn't get to where we were going to, and we lost half the men. It was a total disaster. No, never mind, old man. I'm sure it wasn't your fault. Yes, it was. Yes, I had this boring job at the warehouse, and I met old Dickie Friendship. Oh, Dickie Lord. Friendship said, would you like to go to Boulogne? Yes, I said. I had visions of coming home with a huge camembert. Instead, I got involved in the most horrible shambles that's ever been my luck to encounter. I was reduced to running around in the dark, blowing my whistle, being shot at by tanks, Jim. <laughs> Uh, look, anyway, Jumbo, we're all here to help. How? Oh. Have you ever been documented, fingerprinted, or photographed? No. Have you given any information other than your name or rank? No. Well, we have orders to try and get you out of here as soon as possible. Now. Oh. I suppose you leave that to us. Well, the fact is, I've got a few ideas of my own. Oh, listen. On. We need to buy time. Ask to write a letter. Write to someone at home, if possible, someone important. The Jerrys are far more cautious if they find they're dealing with VIPs. Oh, come on, Jumbo. You must know bags of people in the government. Of course I do, old boy. Well, drop my line. Just a few lines to say that I got bagged at Boulogne. So I'm not able to bring back the claret I promised you. We have been taken to Colditz Castle. This is an early example of railway Gothic much in need of modernization. The commanding officer of the prison is a colonel That's named... Enough. It says, Dear Winston. Are you suggesting that he is a personal friend of the British Prime Minister. It is addressed 10 Downing Street. Are you further suggesting that this raid on the French coast was inspired by nothing more than Herr Churchill's desire for a case of claret to return the letter? On what grounds, Herr Major? On the grounds that he is not permitted to describe German military installations or German personnel. Jawohl, Herr Major. Ullmann. Order of the day. All night passes are cancelled until further notice. Yes, sir. There's no chance of getting them away. And with the amount of time we have to prepare, it's more than likely they'd be recaptured and handed right back to the SD. We don't want that to happen. They just shoot them out of hand. Well, one thing that might work, sir, would be to fake their escape. Well, I mean, we know we can get them out of the Prominenti block. We could then hide them in one of our our ghost holes. There's nobody under the pulpit in the chapel. Well, that would give us enough time to prepare them so that if we could get them out, they'd have a good chance of getting back to England. The only trouble with a fake escape, Simon, is that any hint of it being a dummy and the SD will be crawling all over this place. Remember, they consider those commandos their personal property. They come back in here and take this castle apart stone by stone. They could make it look convincing by staging a real escape the same night. No, no, it's too risky. Anyone who was captured would give the game away immediately. You know, Simon, there is a way round this, but I don't think the committee are going to like it very much. You remember the way you went out of the castle with Pat and Phil? Hmm. Well, I want you to do it again, using exactly the same route. Which one's this... that? Oh, yeah, I forgot. You weren't here. Get them out. Show him. Now, look here. 
British quarters, right? Into the kitchens here, through into the German courtyard, into the pit, through the ventilation shaft here, up onto the moat here, down the moat to the exercise park and over right, to the perimeter wire. Right, however, this time, when you get to the exercise park, you make a hole in the wire, the perimeter wire, and you come back into the exercise park. You wait out the night there, and we bring you back the next day with the exercise party. So, in fact, you're, you're asking me to give away our best route for nothing more than a dummy run. It's a waste, Simon. If we're going to hide those three commandos successfully in this castle, enough evidence has to be left behind to convince the Germans that they've escaped. By giving away this particular route. Well, there must be an alternative. Well, give me one. I mean, one that's guaranteed to work. But we've proved this route works. Exactly. Well, you can count me right out. Easy. I'll do it. But I'm not going through all that lot for nothing. Once I reach the wire, I go all the way. All right, Tim. So I agree. It's absurd to pass out that chance. George? Why don't you do it? If you take this job, I will. Simon, I still don't understand why he has to come back in again. Once he's cut a hole in the wire, why not keep going? All right, consider the odds. From here to the kitchen, they're in our favor. From the kitchen to the German courtyard, there's a 50-50 chance of being caught. From the German courtyard to the moat, the pit, should present no problem, nor should getting into the exercise park. But once you're through that perimeter wire, with the dogs, the lights, and the additional sentries, there's a 15 to 1 chance against getting clear. Now, as I said before, the Germans, it's essential that they believe that those three commanders have escaped from the castle. Now, if our bloke is caught 100 yards from the wire, all in his own, you give the whole game away. I'll do it. Look, Jumbo isn't going to thank you, or anyone else for that matter. Risking their necks if it's going to be for nothing. Thanks, George. I'll take you through the route. Good. Right, then, that's it, then. Yeah, think that back on the wall. That's just about my speed. A dummy escape. Simon, you have thought, haven't you? But this whole thing may just be a setup. The old jumbo's the tethered goat. How soon can you be ready? 24 hours, sir. Well, I've just heard they're going to be taken off the ration strength at AM Thursday. Can you do it in 12 hours? So I find you still up uh, in my yard. Hey, West. Stand at ease. Always on duty. How was your conference? Eh? A waste of time. I thought you might stay the night. No, I wanted to get back. I hear you stopped all home leave. For the time being, yes. Is this a disciplinary matter? In which case I could have been informed. You were not here, sir. Nevertheless, Hey, Oberst, earlier this week I arranged for the transfer of the commandos here at your request. 
I don't see the connection. It occurred to me that their presence here provided an ideal opportunity to force Colonel Preston's hand. He is aware of the Fuhrer's speech. He must now be under great pressure to get them out. And in the short time available to him, he must choose his best route. You mean you deliberately created this situation? Herr Oberst, in taking up my post here, I read your records. There were a number of escapes last year which were never explained. Perhaps tonight we shall find the answer to at least one of them. I am reassured, Herr Major, to find that, as usual, you are motivated by duty rather than compassion. Thank you, sir. I must warn you that I am taking a record of this conversation on paper and shall ask you to sign it. As you wish, sir. I wish to make it quite clear that in my absence you have deliberately created a situation in order to provoke an escape attempt. I am assured, sir, that any such attempt would not have the slightest chance of success. Yes, I agree with you. The chances are that they will be shot long before that. Perhaps that was your intention. My intention was and is, sir, to discover the route by which Captain Grant and his friends escaped from this castle, a route which will undoubtedly be used again and again. Your intentions, Major, are admirable. Your methods disgust me. Sir, during the winter campaign of last year, in which I had the honor to take part, the Russians shot our officers out of hand, and we shot theirs. Undoubtedly, that will also disgust you. But that is war, as I and many others now know it. And there are few, if any, rules. Three. I want to give him time to get to the wire. Vesey said that Trumpington didn't make his usual complaint about the food last night. Well, perhaps he's getting used to it. He usually shouts pig swill and chucks it across the cell. Tim thinks he's no longer there. Yeah. There is no movement in the Provenienter block. But a guard reports sighting someone on one of the roofs of the Commander to a courtyard. As you ordered, he didn't challenge. Where? Here. in Ordnung. Oh, gut. Das muss ich aber gefreut haben. Na, ich hau ab. Bis dann. Bis dann. Sit down, old man. Thank you, sir. Well, what is your appreciation of the situation? I cannot see the connection between this escape and the commandos. However, the guard did see someone. It may well have been one of the three. In normal circumstances, I would now sound an alarm. But there uh, are no risks in allowing this situation to develop? None, Herr Major. The walls are covered by the guards, as far the clock tower. That leaves only the sewage pit. And there is no need to sound the alarm.
gentlemen. Very well, carry on. There is no news. If they wanted to be clear by daybreak, they would have had to start it by now. I must confess, I am disappointed. It appears that I may have overestimated both their courage and their resourcefulness. Is there any further news on the sighting in the courtyard? No. You may stand down if you wish, Ullman. I shall wait. I shall wait all night, if necessary. Thank you, sir. But I, I think I shall wait for you. Ullman? Yes? Yes? It's very bad manners of you, Mr. Player, to keep me waiting. Major Trumpington and his men have been transferred to the detention block until their transport arrives. They're leaving Colditz? Yes. On whose orders? S.D. Berlin. I would like to speak with Lieutenant Player, please. He's under arrest. Naturally, so are Captains Brent and Downing. As for the commandos, I know you've been anxious for their welfare. I have been supplied with copies of the order for their transfer to Offlag 17. So you see, your fears were groundless. Commandant, I insist that one of your men accompany them. Now, really, Colonel... I still hold you responsible for their safety. Colonel Preston, these orders are explicit. They are correct. These men are to be transferred. With your permission, sir. If it will allay the Colonel's anxiety, I shall be happy to escort the prisoners myself.
Major Trumpington. Yes, sir. How do you do? My name is Preston. I'm the senior British officer. This is just to wish you luck, really. I'm sorry if my um, bellowing disturbed you, Colonel, but it seems to be the most and the least I could do. Dug the grave as you ordered, sir. These men are under your command? Of course. Tell them to get out of the way. Excuse me, uh, Herr Mayor. These men have orders. What orders? A corporal, to escort the prisoners from here on. Your orders. You were aware of these orders before we left Colditz? Yes. Why was I not informed? This is a delicate business, Herr Mayor, as I am sure you will understand. Very well. I will have the prisoners transferred. Oh, that is being done now. You will, of course, wish to return to Colditz immediately. Whilst trying to escape, you were a witness. Yes, sir. Clear up everything. <laughs> 